what's up guys welcome back to the channel it's been two weeks since i've uploaded a video a lot happened we've been out with the car twice a uh, lot of updates a lot of goods a lot of bads so let's go through it Yeah, so I've been out to two events in the past two two weeks. Uh, we went to CSCS um, two weeks ago, and uh, I'll show you a little bit of a recap what happened. But uh, we went there. We had five passes, and all it did is spin. So that didn't go very well. I mean, it's the first time out. I didn't really expect to go sixes on the first time out on a brand new car. I mean, we cut the whole thing to pieces, and everything's brand new. So that was the first event. Here's a pass from that event. So a week after we went to Canada Heads Up, uh, we switched over to the little baby tire. Well, it's a 29.5 by 10.5. And uh, we tried to dial it in more. We went uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, Thursday and Friday we had some struggles uh, the car was spinning again so I had uh, I had some friends come over at the trailer and they helped me look at the bars I want to thank uh, thank Adam I'll link his Instagram and Facebook below so you can check out his crazy Mustang um, uh, Adam Bastrade uh, I, I don't know how to pronounce his last name but I'll, I'll write it below and uh, Enzo Piccini He's a fast Mustang in the 380s. He also came by to help. This is the beauty about this community. They both came over, they looked at my bars, and we kind of figured out together that the upper bar needed to be moved a little bit. So we adjusted the upper bar, we raised the right height a little bit, and the car completely transformed. Here's a few passes from that event, and uh, we ran actually a personal best, so, but here's two passes from that event.
yeah, so fast forward till today uh, with a personal best of 462 at 165. That's, we cut a tenth off the, uh, the personal best. The 60 foot was still a 118, which is relatively slow. That's compared to what I was running last year. But today we're here to show you the precision racing suspension, new tricks that I have for this car. So for those who don't understand, a four link suspension needs to separate. And when I mean separate, the tire travels down, the body travels up, and that's what adds traction to the, to the tire. So I'm installing these uh, PRS air cups. So what it does is the minute you launch, it, it's like an air suspension where I apply pressure to the springs, pushes the tire down, and we should be able to put more power to the ground. So let me show you a little bit how they work. I got it hooked up. I put a little battery here just to test them. here as you can see I still have the travel the travel sensors unhooked but it just gives you an idea of what the car is doing Yeah, so some pretty cool tech, man. These guys innovate, you know, new technology. To me, new technology is, is something that you really have to take advantage of. I'm not gonna stick with the old proven setup that everybody runs. I really wanted to stick with the radio. I believe the radio is a quicker, quicker tire. So the, the tricky part is to have that tire with a lot of traction. So we're gonna test these out. We're going back out this weekend. The car is pretty much ready to go. I think I'll go over the engine, just make sure everything's all nice and tight. Go over the four link suspension bolts, make sure it's nice and tight. I'm gonna refill the nitrous bottles, I'm gonna refill the CO2, run that mag valve. I'm gonna have to put it back here. There's a temporary hose running right now. And eventually we're, we're gonna have to get rid of these ballasts because I ended up putting extra weight in the back just to help with traction. So I got uh, 40 pounds, so these are 40 each, and I got another 25 and 25 there, so you got 40 and 40 and 25 and 25, that's a lot of weight, 130 pounds, but uh, we got it to go, we actually ended up getting second place in Canada Heads Up last weekend, so that was very exciting, uh, we got really raked up in the points, so we're, we're second place in the points in Super Street. So stay tuned, Let's, uh, we'll get the car all buttoned up and uh, the next video will be how it went this weekend. So thank you very much. If you wanna see more about PRS suspension, I'm gonna leave the link below and uh, make sure you check them out. They got some awesome shocks. They specialize in Penske shocks and uh, it's more of a reactive shock. That's what I like about it. If you compare the uh, PRS with Penske's uh, with, with Mensers, Mensers is a great product. The only thing that I don't like about the Mensers is that it's a mechanical change. Uh, this is more of a reactive change. You can set up the ECU to change the shocks however you want using CO2. So you can tailor the shocks to however you want it to work. So stay tuned. Take care.